Guys, we all have problems in business, guys. It's part of the business. But we can't let those problems stop us from running our business. Let me tell you guys about a problem that I had, okay? And one of the problems I have till today, guys, I own a barber shop and I am not a barber, which means I do not cut hair, okay, guys? I do not cut hair, yet I own multiple barber shops. When I first started off, I opened a barber shop with one chair and guess what it wasn't even a barber chair okay i opened a barber shop not having any barbers already planned to work for me okay plus in the city i lived in i didn't have no more than five licensed barbers yet here i am trying to open a barber shop but guess what guys i knew there was a demand i knew there was clients that wanted a good fade i knew i needed a good fade and i said you know what i have to be able to supply this I'm getting asked for it and I need to give it to them. So I decided to open a barber shop with one barber chair with no barbers. So there I am, I go out there trying to find barbers. So I go to so-and-so's house, I go talk to this barber, I talk to my barber, a barber I've been cutting my hair with twice a week. Dude, come on over, man, it's gonna be great. You know, we're in the mall. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a social media man, I'm posting, I do concerts, I do clubs, man. I'm gonna be out there promoting. No, 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 Dave, and I've been in this barbershop. So then I go with another girl. Girl that's also been cutting my hair, right? Whenever the guy was too busy or, you know, had hours of wait. So I go with the girl, I'm like, hey man, why don't you come on over? You know, it's gonna be great, this and that. No, no, I'm fine here. No, no, I'm fine here. I'm like, hey, comfortability is only gonna get you so far. Without risk, there's no reward. Here I am risking opening a barbershop, not cutting hair, not even cutting hair myself, right? So then finally the girl calls me. She's like, hey Dave, do you still have your barbershop? I'm like, yeah, I have a barbershop with no barber. She's like, well, guess what? My coworker just got into a fight with a boss and she's looking for a place. She just left, she's upset. So I told her about your place. Can she go over there right now? I'm like, yes, send her over right now, right? Because of course she's mad. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get her on board now. She's mad, right? Before they re-talk or whatever. So she comes and I'm like, you know what? Look. I show her the place. She's like, Dave, this is not even a barber chair. I was like, hey, but you know what? She was willing to work with it. She's like, you know what? But I can work with it. I go, don't worry. What we're going to do tomorrow is I'm going to post it. You're going to come out here. We're going to post it that you're cutting hair. I'm going to stand outside. We're going to let people know. And you know, hey, don't worry. The hustle, I got you. Don't worry. Give it a shot. Give me one week. So the next day we come in, she cuts my hair. I post it on social media, right? I start letting people know. I stand outside of the front of the shop because one of the things is I've never been afraid of hustle. You can't be afraid of hustle, guys. Okay, so I stand in front of the shop, I get people in, I post my picture up, you know, people are hitting me up, I'm letting them know. Well, that day she ends up cutting 12 haircuts. She has 12 haircuts in her first day. After her first week, she's doing double of what she was making at her old shop, okay? So take in mind, after her second week, she's doing triple. Now take in mind, guys, the other girl is still working at the other salon, her coworkers. Well, after the first month, she's like, wait a minute, you're making how much? So then she sends another friend, the other girl that hired her, which was my, which used to cut my hair. She was like, nah, I'm not gonna go yet. I gotta believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it. Let me send someone else. Cause there's someone else that's just starting to see if you can do it for her. She comes on in within her first week, she's making double of what the other girl's making, right? So come in, you know, from there, you know, we go from one chair to two chairs to three chairs. Once the, 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 the girl's, you know, making triple the amount of money, right? She ends up bringing another friend where her other friend comes on in and she starts killing it, right? And I'm over here hustling. I'm at concerts. I'm at, you know, um, we do this uh, advertisement in the mall. You know, I'm all constantly posting on social media, you know, because back then, you know, social media was barely coming up, you know, so I'm posting on social media. Well, after a month, the other girl decides to come, right? And when she comes, she's like, hey, Dave, wow, it's, you know, really well. It's, it's a lot better here, you know? I feel more relaxed. I'm making a lot more money, right? So guys, um, I didn't let the me not cutting hair stop me, you know, and I don't want it to make you stop you from trying to do your business. Just because you're not a master chef doesn't mean you can't open a restaurant business. Just because you're not a master construction business doesn't mean you can't open up your business. Guys, know your role. And that's one of the things I want you guys to know. Play your role, know your role, and teamwork will make the dream work, guys. I knew I wasn't afraid to hustle. I knew customer service. I knew how to post on social media. So if the barber could focus on just cutting hair and I would handle the rest, the customer service, the posting on social media, how to promote, who to talk to, who not to talk to. 
Guys, I didn't let me not being a barber stop me from opening a barbershop. And now I own multiple barbershops. And you cannot let that stop you from turning your passion into a career. If you have a dream, let's turn that dream into reality. And if you need help, comment below, send me a DM. I'm just an email away. And I can help you turn that dream into reality. Turn your passion into a career. And let's turn that business you've been dreaming about into reality.